Hello everyone, this is Carlos from devprocb.com. Today we're going to be learning about the details tag. Um, it's not fully supported by all browsers yet, um, but I do feel it's going to be an important tag, especially for uh, sites that are going to have terms of services or content that they want to kind of hide away for a little bit because it takes away from the overall design of the site, but it is important to have on the main page or indexed uh, via search engines like Google or Bing. So essentially what the detail tag does, we'll go ahead and show you what that is, is we go ahead and just open up the tag, we'll do details, let me close details, okay, so this is the start of the tag, and then let's say this is what we're trying to accomplish, the summary um, is related to hackers, not allowed on this page, right? And then what we do below that is we say, let's say paragraph, because we have designated another page for hackers on this website you can visit that page here. <clears throat> page a ref pound here. Whoop. And then close the tag. We should be close the paragraph tag. We should be good. It's gonna... So as you can see here on in Firefox, like I said, it's not a supported tag. So what ended up happening was it didn't actually show the drop down for you as the user. So what you see is essentially what standard content would look like. So let's say somebody came in in Firefox browser, it would have rendered this full content to the user. What we're looking for is what's available in Chrome. So when we go into Chrome itself, you see now that there is a drop down. That's because Chrome and I believe the other one is Safari, which fully support the um, details tag so it provides a hidden feature available to the user itself so if you see here you can say visit this page and it reloads the pound link that we created for it now this content here uh, we won't be able to load it locally but like for example let's say we wanted a YouTube video instead right we can actually replace this content and put a YouTube video as a hidden portion of the content as well so there's a lot of different nifty things that you can do with the particular tag which is really nice but as you get into CSS, you can actually enhance this particular tag even further. Um, if you get into Chrome or the Safari, you can target the specific element directly. Now, this is getting more into the advanced side, but essentially the details tag can be pretty powerful stuff. Uh, the other thing you want to go ahead and look at is the default option, which was that open, right? So if we did the open tag, when we did the... Uh, YouTube video, remember, um, it'll automatically go ahead and load the content here. So if you remove the open tag, everything will show. I'm sorry, everything will hide. And if you use the open tag, everything will show. All right, so if you guys have any questions or concerns, feel free to go ahead and leave them below the video. Once again, this is Carlos with DevPro CB signing out.